name is Steven with Deep Five Batteries. Today we're going to discuss the 12 volt 460 amp hour and its communications with the Victron Servo GS. All right, so we're going to start with just one battery. Um, of course, start by turning it on. Press the power switch and uh, the light up green when it's done. All right, so today we're going to go over the various configurations of the 12 volt 460 amp hour Epoch battery, um, starting with the most complex and uh, probably the highest requested one, uh, working our way back to the single battery configuration. All right, so starting with the uh, 4S1P configuration uh, for a 48 volt 1260 amp hour, we're gonna go from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And as we've shown you the dip switch settings, um, we'll display them here on the servo. And you can see that we have our 52.9 volts. So that's all for this configuration. And now onto the next. All right, so here we have the uh, 2S2P configuration. And out of all the configurations here, this is the most important one to get right. If not, then it could be a bad day. But um, you can see here we have a master and slave and then another master and slave. So we have bus bars here showing the parallel connections. And then for series, you'll see each of the banks has their own series connections. So we have two sets of the 24 volt 460 running in parallel. And you can see here in the servo that they actually alternate. They show, show them as separate banks. So that's all for this configuration. And now onto the next. All right, so here we have the uh, 1S4P configuration, probably the easiest of the four. And as you can see, we have all four units wired in parallel and we're doing it through a bus bar. So there's a positive bus bar and there's our negative. All right, and the dip switch settings are configured as you'll see on the screen. And you'll see over here on the servo that we have a 12 volt battery from right, well, 840 amp hour battery. And then you have to go back one to menu to see that it is actually a 12 volt battery. So that's all for this configuration. And now on to the next. All right, so now we're going to discuss the uh, 1S3P configuration, which is gonna be each of these in parallel. And you can refer to the dip switch settings on the screen uh, to adjust those accordingly. And to verify, we can look uh, again over the servo. Let's see, we have 1380 million hours. So that's all for this configuration. And now on to the next. All right, now as we work our way back, we have a 3S1P configuration. So all these are going to be in series. Uh, dip switch settings, as you can see on the, uh, the screen here. And we can verify by looking over at the servo that we have a 36 volt battery, still 460 amp hours, three of them in series. So that's all for this configuration, and now on to the next. Okay, so now for the uh, 2S configuration. So we have a 24 volt battery, uh, 460 amp hour, running in series, dip switch settings as seen on the screen. And that's the on the servo, we have the 24 volt battery. So that's all for this configuration, and now on to the next. All right, so now we're on to the 1S2P. You can see here positive to positive, negative to negative. Dip switch settings. And can be confirmed over here on the servo. See a 12 volt battery. Two details. You can see we have. All right, so for the two battery configurations, and this also goes for the bank with the two, uh, two S2P, um, where this actual harness comes into play. We wanna make sure that we have the, the main one, the master is gonna be the Victron. The slave is gonna be one labeled CAN. And then the one that goes to the back of the servo is gonna be the one labeled INV or inverter. All right, so this is it for the uh, 460 amp hour 12 volt batteries. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we'll help you if you have any questions.